Hello, welcome to my seventh video podcast, but this time it's not at home in our bar where it normally is. It's in the Philharmonic here in Liverpool. And who am I joined with? Not only the one and only Lee Francis. How's Hello, it? Lee. Nice to see you. Nice to see you is too. Is it Philharmonic or Philharmonic? It's the Royal Philharmonic, is it? Is Royal it? Philharmonic? It's Philharmonic. Yeah. Or Philharmonic. I, Philharmonic. I get Philharmonic. it wrong every time. It's Philharmonic. I thought it was Philharmonic. We were just talking about me being dyslexic, weren't we, earlier? Yeah. That dyslexia has nothing to do with talking. <laughs> <laughs> it is for me, mate. It is the level that it's, I'm on. It's Philharmonic, I think. It's Philharmonic, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we are here tonight because you are doing your live uh, tour around the Shut country. Shut up, we're filming! Love you! <laughs> Called my first time. Yes. And do you know what? Before we get into because it's not just about you, okay? Yeah. This is my first time. The first time that I'm talking to you. Publicly, publicly, yeah. As Lee Francis, yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, not we've a had character. many chats um, as me we have many. It, behind closed doors. We about have things yeah. we couldn't say on camera. I know, but we won't talk about but, that on camera. Yeah, publicly, <laughs> I've always been happy marrying with you. I you guess. have, and do you find it weird now being yourself? Not anymore. I did it uh, about last year, but I joined Virgin Radio. Yeah. And I've kind of learnt to be me in front of camera or on radio or whatever. Uh, and now I'm all right with it, yeah. It's all right, yeah. Is it harder being you than actually being a character? Because you've done so many I characters. I tell you, when I'm being me, I, I don't feel any pressure to do any funnies. OK. So I might come across boring. <laughs> but, but I guess when you... When should, you we Keith, cut, should we cut now? <laughs> when, you, when you're Keith Lemon or character, yeah. you've got to do something, haven't you? Of course, I yeah, yeah. When, But when I'm as me, I, 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 it's easy going, isn't it? Because you know what, it, most The ball people, is in your court, because this is your thing. I know, mine. but most people ask me, what's he really like? And this was years ago, before we got to see you on telly. Yeah. Being late, being yourself sort of thing. And I used to say, well, I can't disclose too much, but he's just a normal person. He just happens to be funny. And what, how I described you in the past is, you've got a talent where you can tune into somebody's, whether it's... <laughs> I can't even say the words, but you, you like some of your mates I in the earlier days, extract you extract essence. something about them. You see something, because all your mates, when I first met them, yeah. I first met them when we went in your stag night, yeah. literally yeah. 20 years ago, am I saying? Uh, 21. 21 oh, yeah. years ago on there. And every one of them just had a little something weird or funny about them that you <laughs> tuned into and exaggerated, but made a funny side of it, which helped develop some of the characters. Yeah. In the early days, of I guess I just take essence of people. I, I think I see, I see things in people, I guess, and and then I blow that up. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do. That's you know? how I've, I've tried to describe people to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't. I think I don't, I don't do impressions of people. No, I, I, don't, I don't. I never. Yes, you do. I, I don't feel like I do impressions. I I, I do. Um, we my interpretation, interpretations my of them, okay, of then, yeah, yeah. Because you get people who do straight impression. Yeah. And um, and that's sometimes uh, an impression is really good, so good that you're just wowed by it. Yeah. And, and you don't find it funny, you just like, wow, you sound just like them. Where I'll try and go to something a bit dafter with it, so hopefully it's funny. And would, so when you're finding celebrities to try and, say like in the early days back in Bo Selecta, yeah. and you used to make all the masks up yourself, didn't you? No, Do I didn't. I thought you made all the masks. You, know, I said, you told me you did. I didn't. You know what I did? I went to a, they gave me a budget of about 50 quid. Okay. okay. And I went to a joke shop and yeah. bought loads of masks and just cut the top off them. Might stick a beard oh, so on you them, adapted them. Draw a beard on them or whatever. So the Craig yes. David mask was Bill Clinton. And I cut the top off. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Because I've got yeah, one yeah. at home that's uncut and it's, you can see it's Bill Clinton. Yeah. I cut the top off, draw a beard on it. Um, Mel B mask was then Prince Charles, now King Charles. No, and it's it? a Prince Charles mask. And we was going to do Prince Charles um, in the show. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, we just use Mel B's mask then. And then we, we didn't do Prince Charles obviously because he got ill, didn't he? So oh, of course, yeah. You, you've got to, you know you've got to be mindful of certain things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we put a mask on, and that's how you devise the voice as well. Because you see, yeah. like the first time we ever did Mel B. Um, can you remember Roy? Um, yes, cameraman. yeah, yeah, I remember Roy, cameraman. Roy yeah. and Pete, the cameraman, yeah. another cameraman, just putting up the lights and stuff. Yeah. And we had, we had a big mirror, and I was just putting the mask on and just trying to get the voice for the, for the, for the face. And yeah. what, what voice went with the face? And it just so happens that it went um, a little bit, um, I forgot his name, Bullseye. Oh, uh, Jim Bowen. Just, Jim Bowen, it, yeah. It just so happened that it went a bit Not Jim in this Bowen. game for two in the yeah. bed. And then we ended up getting Jim Bowen to play Mel B's dad. And um, when we did I've Got You Babe <laughs> with um, Davina McCall yeah. and Patsy Kenzie, we had some clips of um, the, the Mel B character with Jim Bowen. But remember Patsy when we did Kenzie? Proper Crimbo? I stripped for Patsy Kenzie. Did you? On one of your shows? Did you? I hope it was one of your shows anyway. 
<laughs> but yes, I mean, Paul Selector was crazy, and, and how we met as well. Because Can you, you remember the first time we met? It was a book signing or some calendar signing, or you were I, signing something. Yeah, you just I was come out at, of Big Brother. You just won Big Brother. Yeah, I'd not long been out of Big Brother. I think it was on um, what's the main roads, um, Oxford Street yeah. or something. I was with Claire who replaced Nasty Nick in Big Brother. Right. We were doing, I don't know if it, if it was some sign, and it was in a, I was doing a guest appearance yeah. at like Hamley's, one of the toy no, shops. did you do some like sock shop? It was sock shop, I think. You were in sock, sock shop? shop? I'm sure you was. Oh God, I've done that many different things. But we had the same agent. We had, so you signed yeah. up with John Noel, and yeah. then uh, we were saying, <laughs> oh, oh, because I did the super fan of um, Big Brother, Because you hadn't had both selected at this point, you had no. the character, no, didn't you? No, we already had it. But um, a clever commissioner called yeah. Robert Popper, he said, yeah. we've got to introduce you um, to everyone, because no one knew who I was. That's right, yeah. He says, do you like Big Brother? I went, yeah. He says, do you want to be the Big Brother super fan? I went, yeah, right then. Yeah. And um, so we did all these little interstitials that they put out, and people thought I got Bo Selector from that, but I'd already got Bo Selector. Oh, okay, And that yeah. was just Channel 4 introducing me um, to the nation, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah. And um, John Noel just signed you up, and yeah. he, he says, oh, well, he's going to be here. Oh, well, we'll go there then. And, and taunt him. And, and you um, terrified did, me. Did, didn't they? Honest yeah, to God, right. I did. the story was, I'm sitting there with Claire, and in them days, I still had bodyguards. I just had security I taking me everywhere. Then I decided, and it was a lovely they day. They must have been in on it then. I think they were so told, yeah, in. they were yeah, told yeah. something, because yeah. Catherine Weaver, the press officer for John Noel, right. was there, and normally she's like a little rock wheeler, isn't she? And she'll step in or something like that. And anyway, this conveyor belt of people coming in and out, and we're signing pictures, we're going like this. Next minute, this guy comes along with his ginger hair, neck brace, never I've seen him before in my life. Hello to you, the Craig. Hello, Craig, can I touch the face? I love you, let me touch you. <laughs> Starts leaning across and I'm kind of like trying to be polite and professional because there was cameras there. Well, you had a camera yeah, there, yeah, didn't yeah. you? Well, I carried Setting a little camera. Up. Did you carry? Yeah, I yeah, carry yeah. a camera yeah. and I'd also have a cameraman with me pretending to be in the press. Oh, oh right, okay, so yeah, no yeah, yeah. you yeah. were together. Get that's how we did it. Yeah. Brilliant. So it cut from my camera to And then camera. he pulls out of the bag a white label version of my Christmas CD. Yeah, which I got, didn't even have a copy of. How you got that? How oh. you got that? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, where did you get that from? And he went, a very cold part of the country, Fort Williams. And it was only days before we'd shoot the video in Fort Williams. Yeah, yeah. My mum didn't even know we were there. Yeah. No press and anything like that. And yeah. I was thinking, what the fuck? I've only been out this house a couple of months and now I'm being stalled yeah, by this yeah. weirdo. But you, my knees were shaking yeah. underneath. And the security were like, come along, sir, come along. Move. He's like, do not touch me, can you? Aren't you see, I'm a disability, I am in pain. He's like this, dropping all his stuff so he couldn't physically lift you up until then I noticed you had the radio mic on. Did you? I remember, I was like, what's that sort of scratching thing? Well, yeah. I'll mess up his recording if he's got it on there or something. <laughs> Start to scratch it like that, and then you went from me and then started picking on Claire. All right. Because yeah. Claire had just had a boob job done, all right. and you were doing your famous noise. All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you give us one? Now, I've <laughs> done it for a while. It's a bit rough, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear That's me. That's what happens when you go on tour. <laughs> Warming it up. Yeah. And then the mo- oh, we- <laughs> It's getting better now. I've dined out on them yeah. noises forever. But then once you start to try to grab it, then the security could be like, get them out, I did, get I didn't them out. Grab her. I didn't try and grab her. One funny story you told me about that, when you doing a similar thing, and it was Paul McCartney, Obviously, another Liverpool famous yeah. person that you went queued up for hours and hours because he was doing a book signing of some sort. And can you remember what you'd done? Well, I didn't, I didn't get to see him. Um, I was there for about four hours because you're in the queue with the real fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're chatting because obviously you've got to pretend that you love this person as yeah, much yeah, as they yeah. love that, that person. And then he came out. I thought, right, this is my chance. So I kind of just ran to him. Yeah. And I, and I just said, um, I love you, I love you. And I went, you are my father, you are my father. <laughs> yeah. I remember the... Um, but they we, launched you out, didn't they, to security? Yeah, we were following um, <coughs> Martin McCutcheon okay. at HMV once. And I got through out of there, literally, mm. by two security men, through out like Beverly Hills Cop. Remember when Beverly Hills Cop gets yeah. run out of the window? Oh, and I landed God. on the floor and I looked up and my old boss from another <laughs> company, another TV company was there. Yeah. He's going, all right, Lee, what are you doing? I went, I'm stalking Martin McCutcheon. <laughs> And, and then just realised what I'd said to him. Like, yeah. oh, it's for a TV show, it's for a TV yeah, yeah. show. It's not real, it's not real. But, and I said, oh yeah, sometimes I get roughed up a little bit. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. roughed up at um, the Brits. I went dressed as Craig David to the Brits. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, I've got an earpiece in so yeah. I, can, I can talk to my cameraman. Mm. And um, I said, I, I, I'm talking to him. I've got in, I've done the red carpet in the Did mask. You? Yeah. And then I've got in, I've got no ticket because they said, have you got your ticket? I said, I'm nominated for four. 
Brits. Oh, as Craig David was yeah. saying. Um, and then and, and Craig David was actually nominated. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then um, they took me into this sort of alleyway, and yeah. roughed me up a little bit, <gasps> and he could hear it, and I could hear him laughing. <laughs> and um, I'm getting roughed. <gasps> he could have. <laughs> you know? And then I came, <laughs> came out, and he's pissing himself laughing. I went, I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. But um, <laughs> yeah, he got roughed up a couple of times. Did you? That's yeah. amazing. So what's your, your kind of your best memories of? The showboat selector. Well, back in the day, we had an incredible time laughing a lot, I think, didn't mm -hmm. we? And we mm -hmm. used to film it in a flat in Hackney. Yeah. And I used to get out of the car and it felt a bit dodgy back yeah. then. It was a dodgy Apparently place it's there, a wasn't quite it? trendy place now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, just run up into that flat. It was yeah. a weird place, wasn't it? It was weird, yeah, yeah. <clears> and then there's, we discovered this guy downstairs called Ozzy. Ozzy? And he had like a sweater shop that he was doing. Who and genuinely was working or yeah, yeah. below us, wasn't he? I still he, don't know where he's from. No, no, I don't, don't know. I don't know if he knows he knew nothing, did he? And he came up and he, he asked what we were doing. And I'm talking to this foreign guy in a pretend foreign accent, mm. communicating somehow. Yeah, mimicking him. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then I was saying, we've got to have this guy in with us. Yeah. Uh, and then he became part he of our a... world. And I think you would come for a day yeah. and we'd film with you for a day yeah. in the cupboard. Yeah. And then you'd go and we'd continue filming all the other links and mm. stuff. Mm. Uh, and we had an ace time, and then we did proper crimbo, and that was quite exciting. Proper crimbo, yeah, because talking of HMV or whatever it was, the shop, last time you and I were in there, we were chained up together. Well, we went we? in a camper van, I remember. That's right, and Ozzy yes. was with us. Yeah, Ozzy was Someone with us. sent me a picture of it today. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've I had, seen a few I had, of them online. I had a red like... Tachini tracksuit on. <clears throat> I was, was I an chained up? Hulk t shirt on. <laughs> and you, you had a t shirt on, you and Ozzy, that said, um, fuck peace, give Avid a chance. Oh, I remember you that. You never yeah. wear such a thing now, but um, <laughs> it was different times, wasn't it? And you it could was different do times. anything. And you've got to be more mindful of shit nowadays. I think it's, it's, it it's a bit spoiled now, isn't it? It was crazy back then. You could say anything Anyone you want. goes. And we used to like do a, I think we would do a take, mm. I remember, and say the weirdest, naughtiest thing, and then go, right, how can we do that again, but get away with saying what we could say? And yeah, you could yeah. get away with a lot then. Yes, yeah, yeah. But yeah. in our first run-throughs, we'd, we'd say all sorts of weird shit. Really get beautiful yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also, also remember a time when I opened the cupboard to see you there, yeah. and you wasn't there. And somehow you'd hid, and I'm like, where the fuck has he gone? Oh, and, and you he jumped, jumped out. out. Yeah, I do remember that, yeah. yeah. Some funny scenes, bath scenes, lift scenes. There was yeah, one we scene, a couple of times. we just mentioned this, didn't we, in your dressing room out there, where basically this scene was, I was having sex. He had to bring in a, a glam model, didn't he? That was where they could ask her to take her clothes off. Wait, so this was the thing. It was series three, and people always, to this day, well, yeah. God, have you still got Craig in the cupboard? And I was yeah. going, oh, you got let out in series three. I used to. And the, because the, the storyline was, yeah. in the end, you always had the key, but you liked it. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was warm. And Thank then, you, please. And then in series three, Avid had his own little chat show set yeah. up. And you had a, a DIY show, didn't you, in the same yes, building? That was the story. That's right. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that's how I caught you in the lift, having sex with a lady. Having sex with a lady, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And it was a bizarre scene because you're there with this model pretending to now say yeah. backwards sort of thing in this lift in a big building in London and then as it come down to the floor it, was, it opened uh, up it was, uh, it was all public standing there waiting to get in it was number one Stephen Street was it? Oh, you've it got was. a good memory well because I worked there oh, for years <laughs> oh that's why because <laughs> that became the talk back then and one of the scenes as well I think I escaped from you the Shawshank Redemski yeah, we, we, not we, Redemsky. Re, was it Shawshank? With a oh, no. Damsky. And Shawshank Redemption. Redemption, that's right, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> I haven't even had a drink I think yet. They, 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 should, they should do a version of it, the, the, um, the Liverpoolian version. It. Shawshank Redemption. They, they had me going through a swamp in yeah, the middle yeah, of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was but good you enjoyed days. it, didn't you? I loved it, yeah, yeah. It was great fun, it was great fun. So listen, straight after that then, I mean, because that was the main opening of your career, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then, of yeah. course, Keith but Lemon. I had been, I had been doing um, telly for eight years before Bow Selector happened. I didn't see yeah. you, sorry. Hey? I'm sorry I didn't see you on it. Tell no, no, you weren't. I'm glad I didn't I, see no, you, you beforehand. Done, you wouldn't have done because, because it I wouldn't recognise you then. A bit, so like, um, you were on other people's shows though, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, because like digital channels had just yeah. started happening. Mm. Um, and I worked at the Paramount channel. I was on a couple of things there. I used to work in an office, and mm. this is always in the office. I would sit here. Dom Jolly would sit there. Opposite <laughs> me was Sasha Baron Cohen. Brilliant. Over there was Simon Pegg and Jessica Hines. On that table over there was Noel Fielding and Julian Barrett. Wow. In the corner, it was Matt Lucas and David Williams. 
some other people what? that researchers and stuff but that was the office no one particularly um, knew what anyone was going to become because not mm. none of us had become anyone then yeah. apart from Matt Lucas was already George Dawes George, yeah, and yeah. I can remember looking over him and going oh god that's George Dawes yeah and scores. Sasha Baron Cohen was so lovely and he'd, go, he'd be going Lee what are you doing today and I go, I'm going to run into that wall 40 times and hopefully get a <laughs> laugh or whatever else <laughs> yeah. um, and then what are you doing he says oh, I'm going to be this fashion reporter called mm. Borat um, no, Bruno, he's Bruno then. Bruno he first, Borat. was he? Yeah, he was Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. And I can remember he came in and he, d- he bleached his hair white and all this lot and yeah. he had like super fashion clothes yeah. on. And he was a really nice guy. Yeah. Everyone was nice and um, now and again when I see any of them, I do, I'll do. i bring it up and go, remember Paramount, how yeah. mad it was. And then, uh, what a line up there though and look how big and successful you've all become. All well, that talented what, what happened room. with me, I, I, um, so I ended up being in the art department. Yeah. And I would give um, a script and a video mm. to the bosses every day for three years until they said, right, go on then. Um, we like this sketch that you've written. If you can get Davina McCall, because I wrote Davina McCall into yeah. it, um, <clears throat> we'll let you do that sketch. So we booked Davina McCall. I got on with her and we did this sketch. And then she said, have you got an agent? And I didn't know what that even meant. What mm. do you mean getting an agent? I didn't have an agent. And um, so she went, here's the number of my agent. I went, oh, thanks. She went, are you going to call him? And I that went, was John Noel. Yeah. I went, no. She went, do you want me to call him? I went, yeah. And then she called him. She saw him with this guy. It's really funny and nice and stuff. He yeah. said nice things. And um, then I had a meeting with him. And, and then he said, um, he saw me on a show. Well, I was yeah. presenting a show on, on Bigger Breakfast. T4. A big Breakfast. Bigger Breakfast. Oh, the was. Bigger Breakfast. In the summer, okay. it was called Bigger yes, Breakfast. Yes, yes. Vain. Uh, you no, know, it was um, Ben Shepherd, <clears throat> I oh, think, ben, and Melanie yes. Sykes. Yeah. And um, I did that show, and he said, I saw you, pre- I was just me presenting. Yeah. He says, I saw you presenting your show. I think you're shit. <laughs> He did. Because he's an author, isn't he? Yes, he talks yeah. it, as it is. And uh, I did, like, I review computer games as different <laughs> characters. And he says, I like it when you play your characters. I went, all right, cool. I'm like 28, 26, mm. I'm younger, 26 or something. Yeah, yeah. He says, what about Lee Francis doesn't exist anymore, and we just do your characters? And I just thought, he knows more than me. I'm yeah. new to this game. I just went along with it. I said, yeah, all right then. He said, tomorrow I want you to come to the office as a different character each day for, for a week. Each. Really? And he says, I'll try and throw you out of character. Let's see which character you can stay in character as. I went, OK. Next day, I go to the phone box outside his office and get yeah. changed like a shit Superman because <laughs> I was too embarrassed to oh. wear this clo- these clothes <laughs> yeah. um, walking around. I'd not bought, I'd not got the confidence then to do yeah. it. And then I go into his office in character, and then he just go, what's your name, how old are you, what school did you go to, who's your mum, where do you live, who's your, who's your heroes, and just ask me questions. Yeah. And, so it, and then he phoned me, and then I'd God. leave, and then he phoned me, that were great, come as someone else tomorrow. Really? And then we chose, right, it was Barry <clears throat> Gibson who became the bear, yeah. Avid Merrion, uh, Barry Gibson's mum, he had me playing Barry Gibson's mum, <laughs> um, and then I was, and also Keith Lemon, yeah. and he says, these are the best characters, let's go with these. And then he set up um, meetings with commissioners, but didn't tell them that I was coming. So he oh, sat there having a meeting in Zil- Aldo Zilli's, yeah. the chef. Yeah. Um, and then I get a text from him, because I sat in his car waiting for the text, yeah. and he'd go, now. I'd go, oh, I've got my text, really? right? I'll go, and then I'd go knock on the window at this restaurant, and he'd wave at me, and then beckon me to come in. Yeah. And then I'd come in, whoever, whoever. Yeah. And he said, what are you up to? And I go, oh, I'm, just, I'm going to the library or whatever. And I don't want nonsense, <laughs> I say. He says, do you want to sit down and have a drink? And I go, OK. Yeah. And then I sit down and basically, I guess, do a, a one-man show to the commissioner. Yeah. And, and then leave. And then we did it to this one guy called Stuart Murphy. John had fueled him with a bit of mm. booze, so he's a bit drunk. <laughs> Not and, like um, John Noel. <laughs> and, that, and on that meeting, I played three characters. I go to the toilet, get changed and come back. And, and then, um, it, then John told him, he says... Uh, they're all my new clients yeah. that you've met tonight. And he says, I think you're taking advantage of them because they're obviously a bit tapped. <laughs> and John went, it's one person. They're not real, yeah. He went, it's one person. And he went, is it? He went, yeah, he went, he can have his own show. Really? And, and I got a show on a channel called UK Play, which then became BBC Three. Wow. And, and that's that what is amazing, happened. isn't it? That's yeah, John Noel and certainly. That, and that's, it, that was all his <clears> idea. <throat> mm, yeah. mm. And Davina McCall actually introduced me to John Noel. Did he she? was my manager for the first but five years. How intentional has she been to so many people then? Absolutely, yeah. We all so love to Davina. She's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. really is. So you just mentioned then about you weren't confident enough to go in them clothes on the way to it, like yeah. an interview or something. Yeah. Did, you, did you feel more confident in them days with wearing the masks? Uh, yeah, I, I guess once you've got all the masks and all you, whatever you're wearing, mm. you feel a little bit invincible and you, yeah. you, and you kind of hide in way. behind the character and it's the character's fault, not mine. Yeah, you can and, get away with And you with have it. super balls. Yeah. And you do. 
You do. <laughs> and, and you know, you don't want people to <clears> this. <throat> I've done a, a bit of prank TV in the past and it's yeah. horrible, it's soul destroying. You feel horrible that you're pissing people mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. And then you, is it funny? I don't know. I know. Yeah, and then the thing, line, avid, isn't it? And the thing with Avid, it was, try, it was a, hopefully funny, making people feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So I used to bring people <laughs> gifts, that were odd gifts. Yeah. I can remember with Chris Malls, I brought him a dog. A dog, a yeah, real yeah, live dog? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brought, what did he do with it? We, we, we borrowed a dog from someone <laughs> and I, and I came, went to uh, when he was at Radio 1. Yeah. He gave him a dog and I said, you're my favourite um, DJ and I'd like to give you this dog. And he's, he's held the dog and then I went, thank you please, and ran away. And just left him with yeah, it? Yeah. I bet he was and like, then, what the fuck am I going to do we, with this? We, we filmed him looking <clears> all sort of, oh shit, I've got a dog, what do I do with this dog? Phil, get enough footage. Yeah. And then the producer go, oh thanks, it was a joke it was for a, a TV joke. show. And then he was like, what yeah, the yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we used to go to charity shops and buy loads mm. of shit and go, we'll give that to whoever and stuff. To one and um, Jamie Oliver, we did him in three times in one day. <laughs> and I was just giving him stuff and say, this is from my dead mother. Because Abbott used oh, to keep yes, his yeah, mother, his dead in, a mother in a cupboard. You in one yeah. cupboard and his mother in yep. another cupboard yep. that you would never <laughs> see. And he'd feed her with tuna. <laughs> really bizarre. <laughs> when you look back at Old Boss Selector, it's mad. It was. It's mad. And, um, I used to think to myself, how does his mind Think <laughs> of half that shit he comes out with. How does I he even know. think of it? I it's not know. normal. It's know. not normal. Don't so going back to then <clears throat> the Keith Lemon. When I went on your uh, stag do, I met the real Keith yeah, Lemon. Who you kind man. of yeah, he was your best man, wasn't he? Yeah. You kind of based your characters off quite a lot of your friends. Yeah, I stole little bits of them. Mm. Um, with Keith Lemon, it's not based on him, it's just his name. Okay. But he would say certain things that yeah. I would steal. Like for instance, his mum, when we were kids, I'd go play at his house with toy cars or whatever, yeah. and when I'd leave, I'd always make sure that I'd shut the gate behind me. She's watching me as I leave his house. Yeah. And she, once she see me shut the gate, she'd go, if I don't see you for a week, I'll see you for a window lee. And I go, <laughs> okay, and then I just go, Keith, what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> and, and he just says, oh, she just means that she'll see you because you pass his house when I go yeah. to school. Mm -hmm. She'll give you a wave, oh, all right then. <laughs> And that always stuck in my head. So when I became the character Keith Lemon, I yeah. said to Keith, I said, I'll give you a shout out on TV. He said, how are you going to do that? I said, I'll, I'll, I'll give a character your name. He went, I bet you won't. I went, I will. And that's so how I became Keith Lemon. I stole little bits of what his mum said. And, yeah. and um, But I didn't know it was going to spiral into... Spiral to that. Well, Juice was 14 years. 14 years yeah. it went for? So, uh, but... Great days. I think Keith, li real Keith, liked it at first. Yeah. And then Mike got a bit pissed off. Pissed it, off in the end, Because yeah. no one believed it was his name. Oh, you know, bless him. Anything on the phone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Keith Lemon. They go, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, what's the name? Imagine being called Michael Jackson. Yeah. Imagine it. Because oh. there's people called Michael yeah, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. One of our runners who work with us on uh, 60 Minute Makeover, his name was Robbie Williams. No. So when the, the ITV were booking us all in to do, there'd be 40 of us in the yeah. cast, and you'd go through all the names who had all your rooms, sort yeah. of thing. Not in the cast, sorry, in the whole crew. And he'd say Robbie Williams. And at some occasions, we'd have press. Turning yeah, up outside thinking yeah. Robbie Williams is there and it's yeah. not. He's a nice not man. one of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah so just cool. saying then we're we the Keith Lemon character, you, you mimicked other people. That's kind of still in play a little bit now, isn't it? Is it with is it Martha, is it? Martha? Who? Um Amanda Holden's now. Myrtle. 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 Myrtle is a mix of my mum and my yeah. mother in law. And your mother in law. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and dear. your mother in law will tell me stories. Hopefully Jill's that, mum that, won't hear this. She she knows. <laughs> she knows. Yeah, yeah. Um, and my mum knows. Mm. Um, so my mum's a bit daft, and I uh, don't mind me saying that. She's like the um, daft <laughs> she's one out, of, out of um, the, you know, the Golden Girls, the daft one. Yes. I can't remember her name, the daft one out of Golden Girls. Because um, there's a tall one, isn't there? The, yeah. There's, there's the sex, supposed to be the sexy one. Yes. And then there's the daft one. The my mum's like the daft one. Oh. And Marion, I've always described her as a blonde Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess with Marion, and she's lovely, mm. uh, but she tells me stories, and I, I do steal them and yeah, use yeah. them, yeah. Brilliant. Well, listen, on to this show now, because yeah. you're going to be on stage, well, you're going to be up on here in the next yeah. few hours. Yeah. Um, my first time, what characters are you covering in this, if people who haven't actually seen this yet? Well, we've got people, to see it in the tour, because it's coming to an end now, isn't it? Yeah, we've got six more, so six um, more. Uh, Liverpool tonight, then yeah. Birmingham, then, no, it's not six more, it's less. You've got Birmingham, Ipswich, and then three at Leeds. Three in Leeds, yeah. yeah that's right. God, it's gone but how many have you done so far? In Hull, yeah. it was 26. I agreed to eight. Eight? And they kept adding them on. Uh, <sighs> but it was 26, and then Buxton cancelled because their um, safety curtain failed. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so we couldn't do that one, yeah. which was a shame. 
Um, but it's come so quick and it's yeah it's the first time I've done a live tour that's why it's called my first time and I thought yeah. if I enjoy it yeah. it will be I'll do it again it'll be called mm. my second time and yeah. if you enjoy that one <laughs> I'll do third it a third time, time and it'll, that will be called the trilogy the trilogy yeah. and then I'll there probably never do it ever again because I'll be too old um, but yeah I turned 50 last year and I wanted to do loads of things I've never done mm -hmm. um, in character there's shows that I would never be able to do. Is the characters do. that you've never done that you'd want to do, is there a bucket list of characters you'd like to do? No, you, you, they just develop out of thin air really. Yeah. The, the Myrtle thing developed because um, I did a thing with Amanda Holden, I got on with her, mm. she was so funny and I said me and you should do something together. Mm. Uh, and then we had a couple of meetings and then we had a meeting in an office where I turned up with some teeth and a video camera and I said how about me being your gran and she went let's try it so he's press record and I would just sat there big I haven't seen you for ages why have you not been calling me because you're famous <laughs> do you think that I don't matter no more and then um, we just start talking she loved it and then um, we did a day with makeup and yeah. we went had a fun day mm. um, in London, <clears throat> and then we had a teaser to be able to sell to channels, and, yeah. and we got a commission for that. I don't know how many people have seen Myrtle, but it's been going down pretty well, especially up north. Yeah, uh, Myrtle character goes down well because I think people they, they, they know a Myrtle. Everyone knows a Myrtle. Yes, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's, she's like someone's mum. She's like your auntie. She's like your grandma. Your neighbour, definitely. And, yeah. um, but in the show, it's um, all the masks are new masks. Okay, yeah. All new masks. Uh, the bears in it. Yeah. Avid. Um, Keith Lemon, because we do a bit that's similar to Celebrity Juice, but for legal reasons, it's not Celebrity Juice. Okay. It, it's called Keith Lemon's Light Hearted Celebrity Based Quiz, okay. which is a mouthful, <laughs> especially when you're in the second half and you're a bit tired yeah. and you have and to you get, got a mask I keep, on. It's, it's written on the screen, which Weird. I keep having to have a look at because I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> and um, we do the Urban Fox, mm. and I do a bit of singing and a bit of contemporary dance. Singing? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. And I just seen in the sound check when you first arrived, you even do a little bit of dancing, am I right? We do, I, 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 I saw Mel C from the Spice yeah. Girls. I went to one of her shows mm. and she wasn't singing, it was contemporary dance. Oh, she's a Liverpool girl, we should have got she her is, here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I didn't know she was doing contemporary dance. I was with okay. my mates that are a bit more um, highbrow than I am. <laughs> and I was sat there, oh, oh. And my mate Nina just looked at me and she went, shh. I mean, she was fantastic, but I wasn't yeah. prepared in my mind to watch contemporary dance. Yeah, sure. So straight away, I start going. <laughs> Taking the piss out of it. And, uh, but she was amazing. And afterwards, mm -hmm. I said, I thought you were amazing. I said, I'm doing a show, hopefully. And you've really inspired me. I want to start my show with yeah. contemporary dance. Of course, mine will be silly. Uh, but it, she knows that it's mm -hmm. totally inspired by her. And she came to watch it at the Palladium. Oh, did she bring Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, she was she got a great sense of humor. All the Spice Girls got a great sense of humor. Yeah, they have. Because um, they've been a big part of many of the shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been yeah. on more with me. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, yeah, they have been. Excellent. Always been good to me. And um, so, yeah, contemporary dance and also a bit of singing at the end. And a bit of singing at the end. Because I have two other people with me. Yeah. Um, Adam C. Booth, who yes. plays, is, I think he's become well known for playing deck because yeah. he does an amazing deck. We do Anton Deck. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. And um, um, Jess Robinson, who's an amazing <coughs> singer. She does, she sings in different voices. So. I heard her voice doing a warm up before. Oh, she's amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, so, me and her sing a bit of opera, operatic yeah. singing at the end. Very nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll shock you with my operatic singing. Good. You know, did shock me with that. My wife over there, Laura, is operatic trained, aren't you? Are you? And I've never. I've been married to her for six years now. Never heard her sing in my life until about five weeks ago. Really? The first time ever. Belting out all well, these notes. Well, my wife used to be a beauty therapist and used to massage people <laughs> um, for the what hotel. Uh, Ori you Mandarin don't Oriental. Appreciate this story. You never know where he's going to go, no, do you? And I no, got a bit no, nervous. No. And she's done many a massage on someone, yeah. but has never given me one ever. Oh, I've never had a massage in yeah. my life. Come on, no, pull your because finger I can't, out. I can't sit. She goes, right, I'll do still. one now. I'm going on busy. <laughs> can't sit. Can't sit still. I've never had a massage. So after the show, what's next for? I've got a book Lee coming Francis. out in September. Okay. Uh, Another one? Because how many have you had? I've had seven books, seven, but none yeah. of them have been about me. Okay. I did two kids' books that were about a beaver and an elephant, and everyone went, yeah. oh, uh, uh, beaver. Uh, but I bought a beaver and an <laughs> elephant from Ikea for yeah. my kids, and I said to them, I'll write a story about them. And yeah. I did. I did two books. And the rest of the books, I did a, a Bo Selector <clears throat> book called Book Selector. Yeah. Um, and the rest of the books were Keith Lemon books about okay. his f made up life. Yes. Because people think that I'm from Beeston, yeah, but I'm yeah. not. I mean, they think I'm from Beeston, yeah. where the character's from, from. or from Morley. Which, Morley. when I was Craig Davy, <laughs> Craig yeah. Davy said he was from Morley. And the only thing I knew about Morley is my actual mate Keith Lemon went out with a girl from Morley <laughs> who was a beauty therapist turned bus driver. Can you imagine As that? You do. I'm a beauty therapist, all of this, but then a bus driver. 
<laughs> and um, that's the only thing I knew about Marley. And then everyone thought I was from Marley. And I went to, I filmed there once. Yeah. And I went to Marley Market and there's a big mural of Keith Lemon. Oh, shit. No, and they think I'm from Marley. <sighs> everyone thinks I'm from Marley, but I've only so, been once. So do you think Keith Lemon's become more famous than Lee Francis? 100%. Yeah. Everyone calls me Keith still. And I'm, I mean, online, I'm forever going, oh, my name's Lee, because it says Lee Francis now. <laughs> and, um, and then I go, oh, I never knew that Keith wasn't your real name. I go, never mind it being, not being my real name. Yeah. It, it's not me. Yeah, but you're from Beeston, aren't you? Do you, no. know what, do you know what I've got? And I've never, ever watched back. When I used to come and do the show with you all the time, I used to have this little hand cam. There was little yeah, tapes in it, yeah. And I used to video all the things that yeah. I used to do. And I've got hundreds and hundreds of them tapes. Never looked at it. I've never looked at them, yeah. Isn't it weird that we film stuff and don't mm. look at it? You're even on your phone when you go to a concert. Yeah. Film it, film it, film it. You don't watch it ever. Don't watch what it ever, no, no. No, no. Well, that's why we're doing a bit of a daily blog now and catching up on things just to kind of look back. And I, I started doing it really for the kids because I've got two young kids now yeah. and I thought, whatever I go, what I do, catch a little bit with them because you don't look how, back how at old photographs. Are your kids? Uh, Nelly is five and Lennon is three. Did they know that you were on the telly on Big Brother well, and won it? No, no, they've never yeah. known about Big Brother before, but they're a little bit confused now if they stop and see people asking for a picture. Did you ever watch things. stuff when you were in Big Brother? Have you ever watched Big Brother when no, you were I, in? No, I've not watched the whole show back. I've seen the last show, the last day, and yeah, I've seen yeah, loads yeah. of snippets of it, of all the you know, iconic moments and things. I've watched them a million times, but not watched the whole show. I've got a box there of, a, I think there's 115 VHS tapes <laughs> in there. Is. Up in the attic, basically not. Um, what do you think to um, Big Brother returning? I think it's, personally, I think it's had its day. Yeah. It kind of hits its peak, it come down. I think they've gone down so many different avenues of rich house, poor house, bring them in, do that. I don't know where else gonna go. I think it's a bit exhausted. Well I think it's, done, I think well it's done well for them. Like, yeah, Do you yeah, ever yeah. see any Big Brother people like have a Not reunion? Not many thing? of them. The last person we seen was Nasty Nick over in Sydney, Australia, because that's where he lives now. Did he won't a... do a podcast with me? Did... He won't. He won't do a podcast with me, you little shit, <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to do a podcast. Tell him. Do a podcast with him. <laughs> um, what about your kids? Because they, they you're recognised now. How do yeah, they, they do take know, that? They do not. I, mean, yeah. I think my younger one likes it more than my older one. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're not bothered because yeah. they don't know any different, do they? They're yeah. not bothered. So the kids are, are they? I don't are you think concerned they're about it. Do, do you, you think you... they'd work in the media or do anything like you do? Uh, my eldest is very good at art, yeah. and my youngest is very funny. Yeah. So who knows? Wonder what where they've got that from? Don't know. Hey? That, well, that's combined <laughs> me in it, I guess. Well, well, she's just, no, no. My eldest now, I say, when I see what work she does, I say to her, "You're as good as me, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm faster." Well, they're going to get taught by the master, aren't they? You know? I, it's weird because I was hoping that one of them gets the artistic yeah. gene. Yeah. And uh, my youngest one, um, she's always really trying to do art, mm. arty mm. things and stuff, but she's very funny. Yeah. I think she's a bit of a performer. They will be. Uh, yeah. They oh, will be, know. definitely. But it's not, they don't know any different. It's like, um, I can remember going to the Osbournes when we were filming back in the day at um, Bo Selector yeah. and hanging out with Jack Osborne and thinking, <laughs> your dad is Ozzy Osbourne, but it doesn't mean anything to him, does it really? Because like, his dad's always been Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, so yeah don't know any difference. And, no, um, no. I'm and not your comparing kids myself to Ozzy Osbourne. I'm no, but your kids will grow up like that, not knowing any They're difference. Not, yeah, I not. remember one of the scenes at Ozzy Osbourne's house. Did you ask Sharon to spit in your face? Yeah, and Ozzy come out. Ozzy spat in my face <laughs> and it was a big... <laughs> you know the term a greenie? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. a greenie, it was a brownie. Oh, so God knows where he got God. that from. That was spit from hell. He On hoiked that, that note. up and spat it right <laughs> in my face. And you know what I did? Licked mm. it. I know you did. Vile. <laughs> Dear I'd, me. I'd never do and that And he's now. got to go for something to eat now as well before the show. <laughs> Lee, I could sit here all night long and chat about everything you've got up to, but we don't have the time. I wish I did. Maybe another time. Right, we'll get a time it's machine. It's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Lovely Thank to you see you, man. Lovely to see you. Oh, lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.